Air Jordan 1 low OG versus Air Jordan 185. What's the difference? They're both OGs, or are they? Today I'm gonna to be breaking down all the differences between these two models, showing you guys the ins and outs and going over all the history and how we got to this point today. So the pair with the white box is gonna be the 85 cut, and the pair with the black box is gonna be the OG cut. Starting off with the outsoles, as you guys can see, when it comes to the overall shape and configuration on how they went about it, it does look very similar, but there's a lot of differences simply with the outsoles. So if you put the two shoes side by side, you can see looking at the back end around the hill, the rubber on the back end of the 85 cut is gonna be a lot smoother. And then on the OG cut, you can see there's gonna be a texture print all throughout that area, even on the inside of the little rectangular shapes and triangular shapes on the back end. Now when it comes to the Nike branding in the center of the foot, you can see it looks very similar. One has a copyright twice and the other one has a copyright once. And another thing to note when it comes to the logo, it looks a little bit smaller and it's not as raised up as much from the outsole with the bigger lip right there where you can actually feel it with your nail. Now behind the text on the 85 cut, you can see it's more of a pebbled like look. And then behind the logo here on the OG cut, you can see that it has more of a pattern like print with a bunch of squares and lines all throughout that. Now going to the circular area in the center of the ball of the foot right here on the front end, you can see you still have that smooth rubber here on the 85 cut. And then when it comes to the OG, you have that same texture all throughout the circles and on the lines going to the middle of the ball. Now when it comes to the actual ball of the foot, those are both gonna be identical and it's just gonna be extremely flat when it comes to that rubber. Now moving forward to the toe of the foot, you can see that there are stars on both of the toes of these shoes, but you can also see that they're a lot smaller and more refined when it comes to the 85 pair compared to the OG. Another thing to notice when it comes to the actual shape of the outsole, if you look in the center middle of the foot right here where the Nike logo is, it's gonna be a lot skinnier and more narrow on the foot. And this is something that's gonna also alter how the shoe feels on foot as well if you have a wider foot. Now wrapping up to the midsoles on the side of these two sneakers, if you look at the 85 pair, you can see obviously it's gonna be a sale like color, more of an off-white compared to a pure white, which we'll get into the colors and shades in a bit. But also look at the actual print on there. Remember that print that we saw behind the text on the 85? It's gonna be a similar type of print all throughout the midsole as well. And when it comes to the midsole on the OG, you're also gonna see that same type of print that you saw on the OG's outsole. Now on the 85, you have a sail stitch matching the midsole connecting the upper. And on the OG, you have a pure white stitch matching the midsole connecting the upper as well. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now before we get into all the details, styles, cuts, and materials of the upper, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1985, the original Air Jordan 1 hit the streets, and in that time, we saw two original colorways hit the market. We saw the white natural gray Air Jordan 1 low, and we saw the metallic navy Air Jordan 1 low. Over the years, through different retros and different branding, the sneaker has slowly evolved from the natural gray Air Jordan 1s to the neutral gray Air Jordan 1s. And it's also kind of funny because if I look at the labels on the shoe boxes, one says particle gray here for the OG, which is not neutral gray. And then on the new 85 cut, it says smoke gray instead of neutral gray on here. So even though the shoe is technically named something else, the people still call the shoe the neutral gray. And this is something that you may see slight differences as well when it comes to OG pairs and 85 pairs that may come out in the future. Currently right now, we have only seen two 85 pairs come out. We saw the neutral gray release in 2023 and the navy metallic release earlier in 2024. So this new modern day version of the 85 cut low is gonna be something very similar to the original from 1985. And they took all the elements and shapes and styles and cuts of that shoe and put it into this version right here. So I wouldn't be surprised over the next five to 10 years if we saw a bunch of new colorways that we have never seen before in the actual 85 cut. Now, when it comes to this retro version of the OG cut, which is the modern day OG, we saw the first ever Air Jordan 1 low OG release in the bread colorway back in 2015 and during that time it had that same style with the same outsole like you see on this pair but the upper was a little bit different the shape on the swoosh was a little bit bigger and those actually had eight lace holes on the shoe compared to seven like this 2021 retro which we'll get into all the nitty gritties a little bit later when it comes to the lace holes but either way the bread one was the first shoe that started this new trend of OG cut Air Jordan 1 lows and just to date things a little bit back in the history for you guys 
the first ever Air Jordan 1 High OG, the Royals back in 2013. Over those next few years, we saw a lot of OG colorways releasing when it came to the Royals, the Breads, the Shadows, and the Chicago's in 2015, which then became everybody's favorite shoe years later. But this new modern day OG style was emerging onto the scene, and a lot of the OG collectors were loving it, but at the same time, a lot of these sneakers sat on shelves. Similar to what we're seeing now with the 85 pairs, these things are going for below retail with the gray pair and the navy pair. So now again, speed it up, fast forward real quick to 2020, we saw the first ever Air Jordan 1 high 85 and that was in the new beginnings pack and the reverse bread air jordan ones those released during all-star weekend and i'll never forget that time and just like we saw the og high in 2013 and then a couple years later the low in 2015 jordan brand followed that same trend of giving us the high top 85 in 2020 and then a few years later giving us the low top 85 in 2023 so now that you guys have a little bit more history about how we got here in the different eras and the different things like that let's go ahead and go over all the cuts and materials of these two shoes because a lot of people love these for certain reasons and a lot of people love these for certain reasons and hopefully this could help you guys decide which one you guys like the most hey yo just real quick i wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website shopdnashow.com also you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices i can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear whenever you cop something make sure you post it on ig so i can see it and then i'll repost it all right let's get back to the video so starting with the og cut as you can see on the materials it looks like it has a slight tumble to it it has a nice little texture to it if you feel the materials it does feel solid but one thing that i can say is when i feel the leather and materials here on the 85 pair i can say it does feel nicer and that's because typically on these modern day og cut pairs they're giving us a synthetic leather compared to giving us an actual leather on the 85 pairs which is also reason why the retail price is a little bit higher now if i look at the label on this pair in particular from 2021 retail was 130 dollars current day retail is 140 dollars for a pair of og lows but when it comes to the 85 lows the retail on these is 160 dollars which is another reason why i could see why these are going for under retail but one thing that i definitely can say is you are getting what you pay for and the 85 pair is definitely going to be a nicer quality sneaker at the end of the day now when it comes to the swoosh on these two sneakers you can see that they have that light gray kind of suede material on these two they feel very very similar the og pair feels a little bit hairier to it but besides that they definitely feel similar now the actual swoosh and the size and the placement if you can see the orientation of it on the side of the shoe you can see that the swoosh is a lot bigger on this 85 pair and that's something that people liked when it came to the first set of og air jordan one lows back in the you know 10 years ago and they kind of got away from that here on the new modern day retro switch maybe i might have to make another video showing you guys old og lows and new og lows but we'll get into that in another video now wrapping up to the side of the foot right here on the front end with the first two lace holes you can see that the shape of this is also going to be a little bit more narrow right here on the second hole and it's a lot more flat right here just going down this area and then another thing is going to be more narrow on this side panel right here and it's going to be thicker here on the side panel on the og another thing to notice if you put these two shoes at the right angle you can see the og pair the cut of the leather is going to be a lot thicker on this pair as well which like i talked about earlier it's an actual leather and it's a nicer material and it's going to give you something higher quality now going to the toe and the shape of these two shoes you can see that it's peeled back a little bit higher right here on the front end and it's going to be a little bit wider here on the vamp area of the shoe going closer to the top of the shoe where the crease is at now when it comes to the actual perforations and the holes those are going to look pretty similar not too much to complain about that area and then you're going to have your same double stitch all throughout the rest of the sneaker on the front end of the shoe here and on the side panels here now these both come standard with a pair of all white laces which again we're not really talking about the colorway but uh, this is a great example because these are two of the same exact colorway but i wanted to show you guys the actual differences of the models so when we're looking at the laces not just the colors but look at the type of laces the 85 pair has a lot more texture to it and this is definitely similar to how you used to see laces back in the day now when it comes to the area behind the tongue you're gonna have more of a canvas like material here here, and it's going to be a lot more gritty. I think a higher chance of potentially staining 
when it comes to this pair. But again, that's a lot more similar to the original from 1985. Now, when it comes to the OG pair, it's gonna have a lot more of a, I would say, maybe like a nylon type finish to it. It's gonna be more soft, more flexible. And yes, you can still stain it. It doesn't look like it'll get as dirty as quick. Now, these both have the Nike Air branding on the top of the tongue with your white tab and the gray text. But this is gonna be another little detail like we talked about earlier. It has that stitching on there where you can see the lines through the text and on the swoosh. And that's again, similar to how we saw it in 85. And we know that they've refined their stitching patterns and their methods when it comes to their Nike branding now. So it makes it look a lot more smooth and clean finish on this OG cut. Looking behind the tongue on both of these two shoes, you're gonna have that same thing all white there. And then around the collar, you're gonna have that light smoke or I would say neutral gray type color to these two shoes. That's gonna be all around the collars here. But clearly you can see with these two shoes side by side, the collars are definitely different. It's a lot thicker here on the 85 pair and it's a lot thinner here on the OG. There's gonna be still some padding right here, but right when it drops down in that cup sole area, you can definitely feel it's just like a straight cardboard wall. And then on this pair, going all the way down toward the bottom of the heel right there, you can feel there's a little bit more padding on the 85. Now again, not talking about color in particular, but just actual insoles. You're gonna have a polyurethane insole here on the 85 pair which is gonna be pretty nice. A lot of people really, really like that. And you're gonna have your same Nike Air branding on the insole. But honestly, I think the Nike Air branding on the 85 pair looks a lot better than the Nike Air branding here on the 2021 OG cut. Also looking underneath the 85 pair on the insole, you have a board last, which is gonna be similar to how the OG was created back in the day. And then when you look at the OG cut pair, you can see that it has more of that foam-like material. And that's gonna be similar to how we get most of our retros now in current time. When it comes to the Air Jordan 1s, you do have an encapsulated air unit in both of these sneakers as well. So that's going to be similar. I think they did switch the actual size of the air unit. I'm not 100% sure if it's the exact same size air unit as it is on the OG. But don't get me wrong, you guys can let me know down below in the comment section about that part. Also with the 2021 pair, as you can see from that blue insole right there, this is going to be a cheaper insole, which is not going to feel as good on the foot. And again, that's going to be something that you pay for with that premium price. Price. Now when it comes to the logo and branding on the back end of the two shoes You can see you still have your Air Jordan wings logo, but this is gonna be a lot different when it comes to the actual process of Incorporating the logo so on here It looks more like a screen print right here onto the material when it comes to the 85 pair The gray looks really really clean on there And then when it comes to this OG retro It looks more like a stamp on the back end of the shoe where it's kind of printed into it And it doesn't look as clean when it comes to the lines in between all the details of the logo Now when I'm facing these two shoes in the same direction, you can see yes There are going to be a lot of elements that look very very similar but like that talked about with the toe how it turns up or it's peeled back a little bit higher here on the 85 compared to the OG or how skinny it is right here even on the back end you can see on the shoe just the slight differences between the heel shape now the stitching is gonna be the same you're gonna have that V or that L like shape right here on the side behind the swoosh and then everything is gonna be pretty much identical there but obviously you can tell with the photos and the videos of everything side by side there are definitely some differences another dope detail when it comes to the 85 pair you're gonna have that classic branding with the size and the style code here on the inside of the shoe and that's gonna be on both of those feet and then on the OG cut it's just gonna be you know standard your size tag on the inside of the foot these also do have a size tag but it's nice to see that nostalgic branding on the inside of the shoe as well. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. I hope this was helpful, giving you guys a detailed look at the differences between an OG cut and an 85 cut. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Which pair do you prefer the most? Or do you like to have both in your collection like me? I would love to hear your responses. And also, if you wanna see any other comparison videos, let me know and I'll make sure I get more for you guys. And I have a fully curated playlist of other comparison videos that I've done in the past. That way you guys can go back and check those out at the end of this video. All right, you guys, I'm out. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. One and all. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the 